All right, so we got the base coat on. So from here, we are gonna go right into our builder gel, okay? So we're gonna gently grab some off. I'm gonna start with the thumb because I have a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna wipe a little bit more off just on the side of the jar. So usually I do one strip down the middle and then to the sides, just real gently to smear over the little bit. Do the fill. Okay, so what I was saying before I had to plug in my lamp and leave is that the reason that I like to do the builder gel, it's just very easy to keep this now self-leveled. And when I'm, it's easier to do a fill and it's easier to do pull off the color with the pill base. So it's a much easier process for me than removal each time. So you have to decide what's best for you. I don't like to take off my entire nails each time and these are my real nails, which I've said a couple times, but what's been fantastic about this is I've never ever had real nails. But, because I keep the builder gel on and I just fill and then just pull off the top, I have been able to allow my real nails underneath to stay strong because of the builder gel and to grow, which has also helped save time because now I used to put tips on. I'm not putting tips on anymore, which is extremely nice. So you gotta just figure out what's what's the process that sounds like it will work for you and if you don't know i suggest just to try and play around with things till you find what you like because i have changed my process i can't even tell you how many times so you always want to use the big strip in the middle and then just a tiny bit on the sides Okay, so this is a lot, a lot of it, a lot of it. So I'm just gonna keep wiping it off. Okay. All right. Sorry, you could tell there was a little bit of a... So a big strip in the middle, and then I use what's little bit to this, what's left on the side so that I don't get a ton and I don't get drowning on the skin. So then what we'll end up doing after this, once we get the fill, because we're just going to do one hand together. Then we are going to do pill bait, top coat, so that the pill base has something really slippery. Then we're going to do pill base, and then we're going to go into our color. Okay, so I can see something... All right, perfect. So this is all set, and now we're going to cure it in the lamp. All right, perfect. So we just got the builder gel on. It doesn't need to be super perfect because I'm gonna stick dip powder over. So I'm just doing it to fill the gaps and the growth, which you can see already, it's done. So from here, we're gonna go right into a top coat. the Sendera top coat, which I am super, super excited about. We are getting all new branded bottles. We're gonna have these ones will take a little bit longer to get through. Um, but we will have some really beautiful bottles coming after this. This set is done. This was our very first bat at getting our products. And then, of course, as we grew, we realized that this is not what we want, so we have changed that. Okay, so the reason we're doing the top coat, as I mentioned before, is so that we can do a pill base. You do not have to do a top coat, 
but the reason that I'm going to do a top coat is because I want the pill base. If you didn't do a top coat um, and pill base, you would have to remove the whole nail, the builder gel, and the dip powder, if you choose to do dip powder. So, again, this is why, yes, my polish is almost gone, but I'm just trying to use it up. Okay, so we are just using that top coat. So now we're gonna cure it and be right back. All right, so it's all done and ready to go. So from here, all I would do is clean up any tiny bit of builder gel that might have spilled over, which isn't a lot. Just tighten those ends so you can prepare. You don't want anything hanging over. You just want to get any bit of builder gel that might have gotten on the skin at all. Clean that up before you go into the pill base. Okay, so that is our fill. From there, we are going to do pill base and then head right into our mani. We'll be back. All right, next application is the pill base, which we love dearly. So this is gonna be dependent on, I might do two coats because last time I did my dip liquids um, and I did the three coats, it popped off really easily. So I think I'm gonna go with two this time. When I do gel, I like to do three coats to get it to come off pretty easy. And it dries pretty fast, so we're gonna that's how we put it on. It just literally air dries probably about two to three minutes. I'll do my second coat and then we'll be back. All right, so the colors we are going to do is 2021. This is from last year. It's one of my favorites. This was from the sub bag. It's out with the old, in with the new. It's a really pretty milky white with uh, gold. And then we're gonna do cheers from last year because it was one of my favorites. I love it. It's just a really pretty hint of gold slash black. So I kind of missed the New Year's mark, but I'm doing it anyways because I don't want to miss the colors because I love New Year colors. Okay, so to get started, we are going to use our new dip liquids. So we're going to go right into a base coat. Okay, and we could lay it in there, but I, I like to pour. I just tend to have better luck, so I'm gonna pour. And with the dip liquid, you wanna make sure that you're really saturating the nail. So go ahead, and if you see it, like it's soaking, then I would lay it in there again. Just make sure it's really soaking up that base coat. Okay. So we're gonna do the next thin layer of the odorless dip liquids. The good news is these don't dry as fast, which is a lifesaver for me since I came from gel. Um, gives me a little more time to work with it, which that was part of my issue when I was doing dip liquids back in the good old days. I they would dry really, really fast and then they didn't look that great. So I don't like to brush these off because they still can be a little bit wet. So just leave them alone, let them dry. So you're gonna do a real thin coat again. Okay, and then go right in. Oops, just hit it, but we'll 
that's fine. Okay, so we'll see. Yep, that didn't soak at all, so we're gonna go ahead and lay the finger in there. Okay. We are not gonna brush the nails, just brushing off the thumb because it has a lot on there. Okay. Then from there, I'm gonna do this one. The sparkle. sparkle over it's one of my favorites look how pretty it already is oh my gosh okay and then I decided to use this white I was actually going to use last year's black but I decided not to I love the last year's collection it's so pretty So a nice thin layer of that base coat. Then from there, okay. and we'll just make sure. Perfect. So what we're going to do here is we are going to gently brush it off the nails that I did first. I'm going to use a little bit. I want to get that off the skin and I totally forgot to do my cuticles but the good news is it looks like I didn't really get any on the cuticles let me check really quick oops I'm still getting used to this new process so usually what you'd want to do is just have where the heck is my little guy I have a little cuticle cleaner that I'm looking for. Okay. Well, we're going to use a stick for right now. I don't think I really got much of anything on the cuticles, but we'll make sure. The good news is since this doesn't dry fast, we seriously have time to clean up. I mean, you can tell it's already starting to harden, but so I missed the tip of going around and wiping each off. So make sure that you do that. Okay. You can, and sometimes I will, grab a little bit of a file, clean up anything I might have missed with glitter. Um, since I forgot to use the cuticle stick, oops, sorry guys, you can't really see what I'm doing, huh? Except for I won't do that over the tip powder. Just to make sure. Now, I wouldn't have done this if I would have used the cuticle stick, but now I'm going to do it because I don't want to make a big mess. And there's not much of anything, but I still want to make sure. Okay, we're good. So this time, let's make sure we have that cuticle stick on hand. And we will clean that up. Perfect. So back to base coat. Odorless. The new odorless dip liquids are amazing. I'm in love, guys. So nice thin coat as you can see. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go right into pouring. Okay, and it looks like it soaked it up, so now I'm gonna just tap it another time just to make sure it's really getting that. Base coat is really soaking that up. I'm gonna stick with all purple. That way if there's any dye at all, I can. Oh. Any dye on the brush, I can wipe it off on a napkin. So 
So the biggest thing is just trying not to get it on your cuticle at all in the first place. And then boom. Then you won't really have to do this. <coughs> Again, we're going to leave the dip liquids on the nails because didn't grab enough. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I want to make sure I get that side. not going to get the nail, I'm just going to get around. Okay, so, but I am going to get the cuticle stick and clean up anything. Okay, then from there, I don't see any purple on my dip liquid. It's because if I was, I was going to fix that. So we can go right into our second coat. Oh, see, I haven't used this in a while, um, but it does have black glitter. It's a really pretty gold and black glitter. It's just so gorgeous. It's one of my favorite glitters. Okay, that'll be done. Of course, use that cuticle stick to clean, clean anything up. The good news is these are so thin and easy to work with, it is really hard to get anything on the cuticles, which I am in heaven about. Okay, when I was over there, I must have squished this now. See how it's still a little wet? That's all right, I'll just file that one down. Super disappointing, but what are you gonna do? So we poured over, now we're going to just make sure, dun, dun, dun. Good. Gonna let those dry, I'm going to put this back in here for right now so I don't make a huge mess. Don't want to lose one of my favorite colors. Okay, so we're going to let this dry, um, then I'm going to dust it. That one should be fine to dust now. That one's fine to dust and that one's fine to dust. Okay, so first round of activator on each finger, making sure that we use a really good amount. I forgot I was gonna use clear on the black and gold glitter, but that's all right, we'll make it work. Okay. Gonna let those dry for a few minutes and then we are gonna file and we'll come right back. All right, I filed and buffed. So now we're gonna go to the activator. Activator again. After we put on the activator, we're gonna wait for two minutes.
Okay, so two minutes, and then we're gonna go right into top coat. Okay, so with the top coat, you're gonna float a very thin layer, and your I mean your goal is to barely even touch the nail, and it doesn't even you don't want to be perfect, you because basically you don't want to get the activator on the brush. So you gotta wipe it off in between each. Okay. After you're done, you're gonna wait 30 seconds. Oops, I almost went back then. You gotta wipe that brush off. Wait 30 seconds, and then you're gonna go right into it again. Second coat. So wait here. It's maybe not even 30 seconds. Okay. because you're counting 30 seconds from the time that you're doing that first finger. So now I'm gonna come in a second time. This time I'm gonna come in and try to make sure I do a really pretty job and that I get all the nicks and crannies of the nail. The first one, you're just trying to float it on the nail so that you don't touch the nail with the activator. I would suggest to wipe it every time. Sorry if I'm a little too close. I'm trying to make sure I can see. Okay, last finger. All right, wipe off the jar. Here we go. So we'll let this dry and we'll be right back. All right, and it's all done. We're gonna do the other hand off camera, but we wanted to do one with you today. Hopefully that was helpful and it's super shiny. So if you're having troubles with it, just follow the directions and you should be good. Have a wonderful day.